All right, so today's lesson is all about shapes. So with shapes, they come in two different categories. First category is called geometric. So geometric shapes, that word geometric should remind you of a word from math class, geometry. Geometric shapes are shapes that are defined by math. So they are those classic shapes that you see all the time. Usually they're ones with straight edges, angles, we think about squares, rectangles, triangles, trapezoids, all those are geometric shapes. Now I'm drawing these a little wobbly, but you guys kind of get the point. Anytime you have a shape that has straight edges and angles, it is going to be a geometric one because these shapes are defined by math. That means you can use a math problem to create them. Now the other type of shape is called organic. Organic shapes should remind you of things out in nature, organic things. These shapes are more freeform. They are more random. They're usually with more curved edges. They're going to be a lot more of those random shapes that you see. These ones don't have any specific math to create them. Usually they don't have any straight sides either. Now you may have noticed there are two shapes that we see all the time that I didn't put down. That's because they are both geometric and organic. These two shapes are the circle and the oval. So these two shapes count as both geometric and organic because they're defined by math, but we see them out in nature all the time. So these two different types of shapes have different sorts of purposes in the art world. Organic shapes tend to be more free, more loose, more calm and mellow, whereas geometric shapes are a lot more rigid and structured. And so we use them for different purposes. So today's little lesson is all about trying out your creativity and seeing what sort of objects you can come up with using geometric and organic shapes. Let me show you what I mean. The first one will be our geometric shapes. So this one, I want you to do a circle challenge. So what that means is I want you to draw out at least nine different circles on a piece of paper, filling up the entire page, nine circles. And on every single circle, I want you to try to figure out what you could draw inside that circle, using the circle to create something new and different. For example, I have, oops, the smiley face, and I have the bomb. Both of those use circles as their main shape to create that object. Now, I want you to come up with your own nine, so I don't want to see any smiley faces or bombs. And I will limit you, only two of them can be emojis, because I know you guys are going to be tempted to do that. So I want you to draw out nine circles, and try to figure out what they could be. So you decorate each one just like I started to on these two. So that is your geometric shape challenge. This is only half of the assignment. The first one's geometric. The second half of the challenge is your organic shapes. So for this, you'll take a second piece of paper and I want you to draw out at least five random organic shapes. So these are just gonna be little random squiggly blobs on your papers. You could even ask a family member to draw the shapes for you for an extra challenge. So you're gonna draw out at least five nice and big random shapes. They all wanna look different. Once you do that, you then have to try to figure out what objects you can make out of these shapes. So for instance, I took that top one and I turned it into a face because I realized that one edge looks like a nose, that could be a ponytail and his eyebrow. I was creative, made a face. And the bottom white one, I realized also looked like a face, but he looks a little snootier, his nose is sticking up. Then the center one, I decided looked kind of like a butterfly. So I added some details for that. And then we also have, oops, we also have a bunny 
and a ghost for the other two. So those are the images that I saw when I looked at these shapes. You could see me drawing them here as I went throughout it. You can see I tried out a boat there. I realized it didn't work, so I changed it. Don't be afraid of mixing it up a little bit. Try and think, see if they work, see if they don't. That is fine. It's all about trying to use that shape that's already there. You cannot change it, okay? You gotta stay within that shape, trying to use it the best you can. This one's gonna be a bit harder than the geometric shapes. I recommend you draw those outlines nice and dark with a marker, so that way you're not tempted to try to fix them as you draw them later. Don't try to cheat, draw the shapes first, then go back and add the details. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with.